quite excited because we're here tonight in Cambridge for the official launch of our campaign um, with Tony Juniper and Jonathan Porritt. The Green Party's moment appears to have arrived in, in politics in this country right now and it really would be wonderful if we could get some candidates elected to the European Parliament beyond the two that we've had there for, for the last two terms. And in the Eastern region it does look like we can do this. We have an excellent candidate who is very likely to be elected if people turn out and they vote Green. It's as simple as that. I think the Green Party has always been out there telling it as it really is, rather than as politicians would have you believe it is. It's the only party that has consistently told the truth about the state of the earth and our relationship with it over the last 35 years. So for me, that record is crucially important, and the party's ideas remain as relevant and as radical today as they were all those years ago. If the other parties had really caught up and really begun to put green politics at their heart, then maybe the case for voting green wouldn't be so strong. But in all honesty, they're not quite there yet. One of the opportunities that we have to seize in the next couple of years is to build the foundations for a green economy. We know now that the environmental pressures are becoming critical, and this is not simply a question of green issues. These are basic fundamental economic issues, and we now have to be putting in place the measures, the incentives, and the funding streams to be building the basis for jobs and prosperity into the future, which is around sustainable development principles. We have no choice but to do that, and the longer we delay, the bigger threat we pose to future generations' economic prospects because we cannot continue with the high consumption, high pollution, resource wasting economy that Europe's got used to and we need Greens in the European Parliament to make that happen. I think if you look back over the last few years and you see what the Green Party's two members of the European Parliament have been able to do, which is to inject real energy into the European Parliament itself, bring back some very important ideas to the body politic here in the UK, it's perfectly clear that we don't want two, we want ten MEPs from the UK because that's the best way to get green voices heard in the political system. It's the same at the local level. If you look at local councils where they've got the benefit of having green councillors, politics in those councils is improved. You get a richer diversity of voices. You get a much more intelligent approach to some of these big issues today. Not just environment issues, but a lot of the social and economic issues as well. So for me, having Greens on any elected body is the best way of invigorating the democratic processes on that body and the best way of helping electors to see what the future is all about.